Hey folks, Grandison Science here with Mr. Brad Burko. Brad Burko from the Cigarzilla. Today we're going to be talking about, and this is for all you novices in the cigar world, and for those who are have been in it a little bit but don't know as much as you want to know, but you're going to get there. Well, we're going to get you there really, really quickly now with Brad talking about lighting and cutting the cigar, or cutting in order and then lighting the cigar, right? You want to make sure you light it before you cut it. You don't want to do that, right? No, no. <laughs> So pay attention to what he has. He, this gentleman is a wealth, a plethora of knowledge. He does a cigar 101 class, which we're going to be posting information about that. We're going to be hosting that in Scottsdale, Arizona. We'll give you all the information. He's an awesome teacher. So we're going to segment part of that talk, and we're going to let Mr. Brad Burko elaborate on lighting and cutting a cigar, or cutting and lighting a cigar. By the way, this is an awesome skill set to have, especially for those of you who are in the business world, you're or getting into the business world also. This is a really good way to form camaraderie with people that are at the cigar shop. So you may find some really good clients there as well. So Brad, enlighten us on the cutting and lighting of cigars. Absolutely, Granison. and thank you. And speaking of the camaraderie between cigar smokers, it all starts with cutting the cigar because just like you have your own personal taste of what cigar you want to choose sure. to smoke right. at whatever time of the day, whatever strength, and we'll talk about that on another video, there are different ways to cut a cigar and different ways to light a cigar. Uh -huh. And yep. lots of times it boils down to personal taste. Uh, sometimes it boils down to the size of the cigar because certain sizes dictate how you can cut a cigar. Sure. Here you have a normal headed cigar, it's a, a flat head cigar, and there's several different ways to cut this cigar. The, so what is that that you're actually about to cut? Well, this is, the, this is the cap, the of, the cap of the cigar. All right, so there are several ways that you can do this. The easiest way and the most acceptable way to cut a cigar is to use this guillotine cutter. And basically it's a blade that comes from both sides. It surrounds the cap of the cigar and you cut it. This is the cap of the cigar. Now you can see how the cap has, it's called shoulders, where it comes rounded to uh, where it's lengthwise. You wanna cut it just on the downsize of the going down on the rounded side. Now the easiest way to cut the cigar with the guillotine cutter, and it works every time, and the easiest way is to basically just put that cigar cutter open across a flat surface and then squeeze it and you have it cut. Thank you. Okay, and this is the little piece, I don't know if you can see that, that's the little piece that came off the cap. So that's a guillotine cutter. You find them in most any cigar stores. Most cigar stores will have cutters and lighters for you to cut. Now what if they're worried about, oh, my cigar touching the table? Well, that's a very good point. What you're doing when you put the cutter open on a table, you're cutting off the part that touches the dirty table. There you go. The part that goes in your mouth never touches that dirty table. See? So there you go. All Perfectly right. safe. So for all those who have a little bit of a germaphobe going on, don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> now, my absolute favorite way to cut a cigar and the, fav uh, the preference that I have for a cigar is to be cut with a V cut. I like that too. And what a, this is a, a Calibri V cutter, which is spring loaded, which is fantastic. You can go on. Uh, yes, okay. you go online. It's like thirty-five dollars. And I've had this for two or three years. The blade is not dulled out. The spring is fantastic. It just works great. So what you do is you put the cigar into the V. You squeeze and then you cut out. And look at that, Granison, Perfectly. look how beautiful. Perfectly. Now, if you can see this, that's a V that's cut out of the cigar. It's perfectly cut, got nice sharpness to it. And you put it in your mouth and it never closes. It stays open and you just keep drawing on the cigar. 
It's all about the draw, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. If you cannot get a good draw on a cigar, I don't care if it's a thousand dollar pre-embargo, <laughs> King Louis the fifteenth cigar. If you can't get a draw on a cigar, forget about you it. can't forget about it, as they say in The Sopranos <laughs> or in my neck of the woods in New York City. Forget about it. But if you can't get a good draw, you can't get taste, you can't get any enjoyment, you, you can't get anything. So let me go into my little humidor and get out another cigar, because I want to show you the last way to cut a cigar. And this last way is what we call a punch or a bullet cutter. All right, now, you really need a fatter uh, cigar, a bigger ring gauge cigar. Mm -hmm. And what you do is like what I have here, is I have two punch cutters that are for different size caps on the cigar. All right, so this one here in my left hand is for a bigger, uh, cap of a cigar uh, and this one six by six yeah by right, right. and this is a Toro so that's about a smaller one and this is a for a Gordo so I'll use this and what it basically is it's a cutout bullet shell that's what they that's why they call it a bullet or punch cutter so you basically put it into the cap of the cigar you spin it this is this is cutting it and you want to make sure the cap on the cigar doesn't crack and you pull out and you have that. You have a little, like a little hole. hole in the cigar mm -hmm. and that's to draw out of. And once again, it's all about personal preference. Now, as far as cutting and lighting a cigar, when I'm outside like, like we're here, you can either use a single or a double torch flame. Uh, these are of one over the other. Uh, it's pretty much uh, personal preference. Okay. I, I like the maximum heat and uh, maximum width you could put on the cigar for lighting it. So I'll use a double torch. You know, it's kind of hard to see that, but there's two torch flames coming out of it. So now, as opposed to a single torch, where I don't know if you could see it, but it's only one flame that comes out. Mm -hmm. All right, but when you're outside, to have this torch is fantastic. Uh, as opposed to a soft oh. flame lighter, now, you see that? It just goes out. Okay, it's staying lit a little bit, but the flame is going all over the place. So that's tough to use. It's mm -hmm. great indoors, but not outdoors. Is there any difference between the two on how it makes the cigar taste when you light it? Well, the soft flame will put less heat on the cigar. Mm -hmm. It won't burn the tobacco as much. And it's all about the fun and the enjoyment. Sure. You know, you got to enjoy cutting your cigar. You got to enjoy the lighting your experience. cigar. The whole experience. Yes. You have to show all these other people. Uh, this dual flame uh, uh, lighter that I have actually has two flames and it wraps around the cigar. Really? Yeah. I never seen that. And I it's just a great lighter. That's awesome. I love it. It's hard to find, but if you can get it, it's great. Now, when you're lighting the cigar, the first motion that you put on the cigar is you toast the cigar. So you see these light brown leaves that come out of the foot of the cigar. The first thing you do is you hold the flame about an inch away. You always go in a nice round motion because you want to get the whole circumference of the cigar. And you see it goes from that light brown to the black. Mm -hmm. Okay, then immediately you put it in your mouth. You continue to light the cigar in a round motion. You draw on the cigar, which means you pull the smoke in your mouth. You hold it there for a few seconds and then you exhale it. Don't inhale. You never inhale. If you do, might as well smoke cigarettes. It's healthier. <laughs> All right. So let me just show you because, as you know, Grant, and we've done this so many times, absolutely. this is the fun part this about fun Cigars part. 101. This is the fun part. Absolutely. So now instead of moving the lighter around, you could just move the cigar around.
Then you blow on it and it should be perfectly lit. Now, the other advantage of using a torch lighter is sometimes with the tobacco being a little inconsistent, whether it's the wrapper, the binder, uh, or the filler, mm -hmm. it might not light evenly. Okay. So you just take that little torch and you torch that part that's not burning evenly. And then the rest, just sit back and so enjoy your cigar. There you go. There you have it, folks. How to appropriately cut and light a cigar for all of you who are new out there. He also talked about the different types of lighters as well. And so, hey, now is your turn. Go enjoy and, and enjoy the experience of your cigar. Like Brad said, you just sit back, take your time, no rush. When you have some time, put these little motions that Brad talked about into action and you'll have a very well-lit cigar and you're on your way to becoming the cigar aficionado. Grandison Shines with Prestige Cigar Society here with Mr. Brad Burko. Thank you very much and we'll be back later on. Bye.